Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is fantastic. Um, you know, there's a joke, uh, uh, maybe not a joke, but there is a running, accepted gag about men and tools. I think it's unfair to say that men love tools and only men love tools. I think there's a ton of women who also love tools. Um, I, I, I don't love tools. I mean, that's not true. I love tools. I love getting tools. Uh, I don't like buying them. <laughs> um, it, I mean, I have them. Uh, I obviously have bought them, but uh, it's the physical act of spending a ton of money for a very specific thing. And I did that tonight, and I still feel icky about it. But I went and bought two uh, Bessie 24-inch parallel clamps. These are clamp. These clamps are designed so that the jaws are always parallel to each other as they get tight. Um, one of the problems with like an F-style clamp, take take this Cheap Harbor Freight clamp for instance, the way that these clamps work is this bar is a spring. So as you start tightening, this bar flexes and it starts to bow. Which, if you're if you're gluing two faces together, not a big deal. But if you're edge gluing something, that's a problem. And um, so I've been wanting these for a long time. These are the 24 inch K body Revos from Bessie. And they, you know, I have a ton of Bessie clamps. I actually have eight of their uh, I don't know, 36 inch F style clamps that I used to make M's desk. And those weren't cheap, but compared to these, holy cow. And this is the 24 inch. If I bought the 36 inch, they're $15 more. Um, but it feels good to get a tool, and I got this tool for a very specific purpose. This Christmas, I made M's mom and aunt um, two cutting boards. Uh, more like chopping blocks. They were um, almost a full eight quarter, two inch thick uh, maple and walnut cutting board. And the problem with that bow that I was talking about is when you go to glue something like a cutting board together where I've cut it into a bunch of strips and I'm gonna glue that back together, as that bar starts to flex, so does the cutting board. And you end up with this dome. Uh, and it, it, you, the, the traditional or the standard way of trying to fix it is you try to put an equal number of clamps on top as you do on the bottom so you can tighten one way or the other to keep this whole thing from rocking. It's annoying. And I don't have a belt sander. Uh, I don't have a drum sander, I mean. I have a belt sander. I don't have a drum sander. And I only have a four inch joiner. So when I make a uh, eight to nine inch wide, usually they're nine inch wide cutting board, I have no way of flattening it if the clamps bow. So I've been wanting some of these clamps forever, but here's the kicker. This, what you're looking at right here is $90 worth of clamps, two clamps. I bought eight of those 36 inch F style clamps for about 120 bucks. So these are expensive. These are very expensive, but they, they make they will make the process of gluing together cutting boards so much simpler. And so I wanted these specifically tonight because I sold a cutting board. Uh, M's father, uh, somebody at his, at his place of employment was looking for a cutting board. He said, hey, I know a guy who makes cutting boards. And uh, I said, here's my price. And they said, great, done. I'm going to go make a cutting board. And so I'm losing money. I'm not charging $80. So I've already lost money. I'm, you know, but this is a tool for the future for making cutting boards or for panel gluing anything that's 24 inches or less, which I intend to do a lot of once I start making the pine furniture. Once I, a lot of that stuff needs to be slightly wider than a one by 12. So I'll need to be able to edge glue um, some some pine one by material together quickly and uh, so it's it's an investment it's an investment for future projects but damn is it expensive it feels good 
you know, but I traveled. This was an adventure tonight. I went to my local uh, hardware store, which is a, a it, the brand name doesn't matter, but it's a true value store. They didn't have any, they didn't even have pipe clamps. They also didn't have any any pine. I usually go there to buy my pine because it's cheaper than Home Depot. They had zero pine. Like they had one really twisted one by four. Uh, then I went to Ace Hardware, uh, and they all they had were pipe clamps, which um, pipe clamps are similar concept. They try to stay parallel by using a thick uh, half inch or three eighths inch black iron pipe, but they still flex, uh, and they're like. The clamp itself is 20 bucks, and then you have to buy the black iron pipe. And for a 24 inch length of black iron pipe, it's like $15. So you're $35 into a less useful clamp than this. Uh, and this was $45 ish with, with tax. So I opted to take our car ride, go to Home Depot, and buy the clamps that I actually wanted um, because I got my stimulus money. So there you go. There's some government stimulus at work. I would have never bought these had I not sold a cutting board and got a stimulus check. <sighs> so now I have to make a new clamp rack to hold these guys. I hope to add to the collection and get some more. Um, I would like to have, I would like to have a minimum of four of these. I would, I mean, I would love to have about eight of these because a lot of times when I'm gluing up cutting boards, I'm gluing up four at a time or panel gluing a six foot span. I need at least three on there. I would like to have a bunch of these, but I mean, hundreds of dollars for clamps doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now. Uh, I would also would like to have a few, at least a couple of the 36 inch ones for doing larger tabletops. Um, but that's for the future. That's future me to have. So for right now, I need to build a clamp rack to just hold two of these guys, because two is all I'm gonna own for quite some time. <sighs> That's my story. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is elucidate. It is a verb meaning to lecture, explain, or pontificate about a subject in great detail so as to make it exceedingly clear. I, or it was the mission of the 20th century to elucidate the irrational. Maurice. Marlo Ponti, a French philosopher. French philosopher. <laughs> I can't talk. Elucidate. E U C E. Gosh. E U E L U C I D A T E. Why can't I talk tonight? I guess I'm in a hurry. I have not eaten. That's probably it. Um, it's like eight o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. So I've been. I was on this adventure for two hours. <laughs>